You see, he's got a very distinct little little scar there in the middle of it. There we go. There it is, under my finger. Oh, lovely, lovely light. Now, lucky for us, they didn't wander north. Oh, you look so comfortable. So you just got to be on the game drive radio for a second. Oh, no. Aubrey's done the update for me, so I don't have to use the radio. Now we are in contact with all the other game drive vehicles out here. It helps us to find you guys the best sightings possible and for their guests. And I can hear Jamie's actually following up on leopard tracks at the moment. Now, Robin also noticed suckle marks, um, and Robin would like to know why is she mating with suckle marks. Now, that is a good question. There's, there's one of two uh, answers. She could have quite high estrogen and other, other hormones at the moment due to the fact she's just given birth, and that could be confusing the male. Unfortunately, the more likely scenario is that she's lost her cubs. Now, I'm not sure whether this lioness... I don't think it's the one who's got the tiny cubs uh, to the east of Buffalzook, and it's definitely not the one who's got the three uh, medium-sized, or not medium, they're still very tiny, but little cubs. So this is the th possibly the third in Kuma lioness, um, who, in not, who in knew what had given birth, because we could see the suckle marks on her, but we haven't seen the cubs yet. There's a possibility they've been killed, and that's why she's mating again. We're going to have to hang around here a bit longer to actually figure out exactly what's going on. And uh, the other option is she could just be mating to get rid of this guy's attentions so she can get back to her cubs uh, because of that high estrogen. The cubs might be very, very young. It's, it's, it's going to be a very interesting story to see how this one pay, plays out.